just short of saying the issue is completely dead. He's left the door open just this much for the possibility it could come back in the future. For now, though, it's not happening. At the State House in Columbus, Jim Otting, New Center 7. Now we want to know what you think. Should employers be able to require their employees to get vaccinated against COVID? We have two ways for you to vote. First, you can go to our WHIO News app, then click on the drop-down menu at the top left and go to the Live tab. Click on Vote Now, or you can head over to whio.com slash vote now. Vote Now is all one word. We'll have those results for you in about 10 minutes. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. Had to run a few errands tonight, McCall, and mm -hmm. there were just enough sprinkles to be a yeah. little bit of a bother. Yeah, it was. I, I had to go out and do a couple of things on my dinner break as well, and I had to run inside the store and run back out because... I mean, I'm a meteorologist, but I didn't have the umbrella with me. <laughs> it was just a short period of time, though, that we did have some of those light showers that came through. And since then, we've been dry. We just have some overcast conditions that are still hanging over our head. As we move into the day tomorrow, we'll have a few more isolated stray showers that we'll work on through during the day. A lot of the day, though, will be dry. Then we get into Friday, and we really start to see that chance for rain and thunderstorms. To increase, and you can see the moisture already feeding up from Texas through Oklahoma and into Missouri right now. There's a cold front that's there. It'll take about a day and a half to get here, and that's why we're going to increase that threat for showers and storms for Friday, and may even linger in the early morning hours of Saturday. That's going to be your best time frame for some wet weather. So as you're planning ahead, maybe you need to mow the lawn or just do some outdoor weeding. Thursday may be the better day for it because once the rain gets here Friday, it's going to be a bit soggy through most, most of the day. Saturday, the second half of the day will be nicer. And then Sunday and Monday, we look at lots of sunshine in the forecast. But also, Friday, when we do have that threat for some rain, there will also be a few thunderstorms within that. One or two storms could become strong enough to be considered severe with an isolated damaging wind gust going to be the primary threat. Uh, concern there and that will be falling mainly in the afternoon and evening localized heavy rain and frequent lightning also a potential with any of those storms so here's future cast as they take you through the next 48 hours tonight we have the cloudy skies overhead tomorrow morning right around sunrise there may be a few passing showers starting to move back through then as we get toward midday tomorrow we'll see a few breaks in the clouds but still, that slight chance of a stray shower will be out there really at any point during the day. But if you're watching as I go through future casts here, there's many more dry time hours than there is that chance for rain. There's 5 p.m. tomorrow, and you can see that cloudy to mostly cloudy sky. As we move into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we see the rain and thunderstorm threat starting to increase. There's 9 p.m. for Thursday. Those showers and thunderstorms work on in tomorrow night into the start of Friday. Notice at 6 a.m. Friday, we have pretty good coverage there for some showers. For the afternoon Friday, that's when the stronger storms will start to develop. Temperatures will be warm. We're looking at highs in the upper 70s, even though we're tracking rain through much of the day. Friday evening, scattered showers and storms about. Likely, we're going to see a lot of touchdown seven football games impacted by those storms and perhaps canceled due to those storms. Rain total estimates, we're talking about a half an inch to an inch of rain across the area. May get some localized higher amounts due to some of that heavy rainfall. So we'll keep an eye out for that as we get into your Friday. So on the way, tomorrow we'll have a stray shower here or there, but it will be warm. I see highs that get into the 80s. We have rain and a few thunderstorms for us on Friday and then Saturday into Sunday. Once the rain gets out of here Saturday morning, it will be much drier, but also much cooler. So here's my five-day forecast into the 80s tomorrow, a couple of passing showers perhaps at times. Then on Friday we have those showers and storms especially for the afternoon and evening when we could see those stronger storms. Some showers early on Saturday and then much cooler but drier with plenty of sunshine Sunday and Monday. Look at those morning lows waking up in the 40s. Ooh, that looks cold. Alright, thanks McCall. The American Red Cross says it's facing a major blood supply shortage. The Red Cross supplies hospitals all over the country with